Hey there. Today, I'm talking about the philosophical bedrock of quantitative research, positivism and post-positivism. These paradigms shape how we view reality, knowledge, and the investigative methods we use. So, let's break them down. First up, positivism. Rooted in the 19th century, pioneered by Auguste Comte and others, positivism asserts that knowledge springs from logical and mathematical treatments of sensory experiences. Here are some key assumptions. Reality is objective and measurable. Science aims to discover universal laws through empirical observation. Research should be value-free and objective. Hypotheses can be tested through experiments and observations, and the researcher remains separate from their subject of study. In the realm of quantitative research, positivism heavily influences the use of structured instruments like surveys and experiments. It relies on statistical analysis to test hypotheses, emphasizing objectivity, measurement, and replicability. Think randomized controlled trials and large-scale surveys here. Now let's switch gears to post-positivism. This paradigm emerged as a critique of positivism's strict objectivity and assertion of absolute truth. Philosophers like Karl Popper and Thomas Kuhn were instrumental in its development. Post-positivism holds that reality exists, but can only be known imperfectly due to human limitations. Knowledge is conjectural and always subject to revision. The researcher's background and values can influence observations, and it stresses critical realism, acknowledging both observable and unobservable aspects of reality. Instead of verification, post-positivism favors falsification, disproving hypotheses. In quantitative research, post-positivism still uses empirical methods and statistical tools, but with an awareness of potential biases. It supports triangulation and mixed methods to bolster validity, recognizes that findings are tentative and context-bound, and encourages transparency and reflexivity in research design. So, in essence, positivism and post-positivism both serve as the philosophical backbone of quantitative research. Positivism champions objectivity, measurement, and empirical verification, while post-positivism offers a more nuanced approach that acknowledges the limitations in knowing, but still values empirical rigor. Together, they guide researchers in producing reliable, replicable, and valid knowledge using quantitative methods. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.